In this work with Helen Frankowska and Desimere Marchini, we provide a unified approach to first and second order necessary conditions for a class of optimal control problems in EP dimensions. We consider a major problem consisting in minimizing a final cost over the solutions of a semilinear equation, satisfying endpoint constraints and running constraints. Here, the trajectory lives in an infinite dimensional separable balance space. A is the infinitesimal generator of a strongly continuous semigroup, and the nonlinear term is measurable with respect to time and twice Fréchet differentiable with respect to the, uh, the two other variables. The control U is measurable with values in some separable Banach space. In the many results, the constraints are expressed with functional inequalities. In this work, we use tools of a second order variational analysis to derive necessary conditions for a local minimizer. They include a maximum principle and a second order condition in the form of an integral variational inequality. We provide the representations for the multipliers associated to the constraints. Concerning the multiplier associated to the cost, we provide sufficient conditions for the normality of the maximum principle. The results are stated in a general abstract setting, but they can be applied to concrete problems involving PDEs. We provide examples with hyperbolic and parabolic equations. Even if the results are stated for optimal control problems under functional inequality state constraints, the same arguments can be adapted to problems involving constraints of a different type. In the paper, we show how to adapt the arguments to the case of pointwise state constraints. In order to state the main results without entering into details, let x bar and u bar be locally optimal for the Meyer problem, and let y bar d bar be a trajectory control pair for the linear S control system, such that the y bar is critical for the cost. Then there exist multipliers lambda i corresponding to the cost and to the endpoint constraints, and measures of cj corresponding to the running constraints that are uh, uh, regular, positive, do not vanish simultaneously, and such that the solution P to the adjoint equation satisfies the minimum principle and the second order variational inequality for every selection W of uh, the second order tangent set to the control set capital U. You can find all the details on the manuscript that is available on my webpage.